A lot of, lot of memories here. When Peter Golick graduated from high school in Bellows Falls, he joined many members of his family, working at the Robertson Paper Company. My father was a printer in here and ran the printing press. Uh, my sister worked in the office as a secretary. This summer, the historic mill was demolished after the company closed and the plant fell on hard times. Once the roof started to go, it, the rest of the building just went, went with it. On Friday, Congressman Peter Welch, Governor Phil Scott, and representatives of the local development corporation came together to cut the ribbon on the newly decontaminated vacant lot. Unfortunately, the legacy is contamination, and that's in uh, here in this site, but it's all around the country. And the federal government is accepting some of the financial burden of the cleanup that's necessary so we can have a healthy, safe site. That financial burden, over $700,000 worth in EPA funding. The site is also the location of an ancient Abenaki burial ground, which Rich Holshue estimates has hundreds of graves. As an indigenous person, you are the land and the land is you. And so anything that can be done to help that is a good thing. Um, what comes next is what we need to talk about. Friday's ceremony, a first step to bring business back to the site. Though a lease has yet to be signed, two anchor tenants are already in talks to set up shop in the newly vacant lot. It's, uh, it's exciting to move forward and see something else coming up here and not just a, a grass lot. In Bellows Falls, Nathaniel Reed, NBC5 News.